Okay, uh, let's recap what we've looked at so far. We classified hydrocarbons into two main groups, saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. In the last session, we learned how to draw a structural formula for these compounds, and we also learned how to name straight chain alkanes and alkanes with branches. In this session, we're going to identify the different types of formulae we come across in organic chemistry. First of all, molecular formula. Um, they simply show how many atoms of each type there are in the molecule. Full structural formulae show all the covalent bonds in the molecule. Uh, these formulae show how the different atoms are all connected with each other. Condensed structural formulae, on the other hand, are a kind of halfway house between the first two. They identify which atoms are attached to the carbons, but they don't show the covalent bonds in the structure. Have a look at these examples of full structural formulae, condensed structural formulae, and molecular formulae. We lose the covalent bonds in the condensed structural formula, there's no need. Um, each carbon atom in the ethane molecule has got three hydrogen atoms attached to it. In the condensed structural formula, we only want to show what's attached to each carbon atom. So we go along the chain from left to right, indicating what atoms are attached. The first carbon atom's got three hydrogen atoms, CH3. The second carbon atom has got two hydrogen atoms attached, CH2. And the last carbon atom has got three hydrogen atoms attached, CH3. This is repetitive, but it doesn't do any harm going through the same routine for butane and pentane. It's just like football. If you keep on doing the basic routines often enough till you perfect them, you can end up being a Ronaldo or a Lionel Messi. Okay, so what do we do when there are branches in the chain? First of all, some advice for any numpties out there who want to take shortcuts and just get to the answer really quickly. Don't. It's advisable to get into good routines when you're naming organic molecules. Don't glance at it and try and snatch at the answer. Take it one step at a time. The first carbon atom in this molecule has got three hydrogens attached, CH3. The second carbon atom in this molecule has got two methyl or CH3 groups attached, so that is C, and we put in brackets the methyl groups, uh, and there's two of them, so we put a two outside the brackets. And the last carbon atom has got its three hydrogens attached. 